2015 marked the first year in a three-year transition to align WIMIS with the globally harmonized system, GHS. Canada's version of this is WIMIS 2015. GHS will create a safer, more consistent system of classifying and labeling hazardous products worldwide. Good morning. Good morning. Ready for a toolbox meeting today? Yeah, I'm going over the WIMIS 2015 stuff, like you said. Okay, great. I've prepared some notes and handouts. It's a lot of information to cover, but it's important for the workers and help them get on board with the changes. Great. Well, I'm glad we're ensuring that we're following the standard and uh, we're in compliance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good morning, everybody. Hey, morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So yesterday, the supplier sent us uh, a new copy of the safety data sheet for the windshield washer fluid or bug juice. There may be some symbols that you guys aren't familiar with yet. Yeah, they look kind of the same. I'm guessing it's part of the GHS WIMIS 2015 thing people have been talking about. That's right. Today we're going to be talking about WIMIS 2015. Mr. Jones and I are here to address any concerns that you might have. In Canada, GHS does not replace WIMIS. Instead, WIMIS 2015 aligns the two systems. This includes new classification rules and hazard classes, new hazard pictograms, new supplier labels, and a new format for the safety data sheet, also known as SDS. You can take one, pass it down. Sure. Thank you. So some things won't change. Uh, for example, education and training. You all have to be trained in WIMIS. Some of the changes will be coming in over the next three years, so you will see a mix of the old and the new system. Training will be ongoing, but that shouldn't be new to you guys. What about labels? Labels have changed a little bit. There is some new information, but the detailed information is still in the safety data sheet. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always ask me or another supervisor. Okay, so this sheet breaks down the old and new hazard classes, and then there are new symbols and more information in the SDS. Right. I'm a little confused. <laughs> okay, so... WIMIS 1988 hazard classes and symbols have been modified slightly. WIMIS 2015 hazard classes are now descriptive, while the hazard symbols are now called pictograms. And the Material Safety Data Sheet, MSDS, is simply called a Safety Data Sheet, or SDS. So there are three hazard groups, physical, health, and environmental, and they contain all the hazard classes? Right, and then the categories tell you how severe the hazard is, one being the most severe. So let's take a look at some examples. Here we have flammable. If you look at gases under pressure, you can see that this falls into the physical hazard class. The pictogram, which is a gas cylinder, looks the same, but now has a red diamond-shaped border. It only falls into the one class. The corrosion pictogram is used for three classes, corrosive to metals, skin corrosion, and serious eye damage, and is only used for category one corrosives. And the new pictogram for health hazard could represent a variety of classes and categories, including a new hazard class for specific target organ toxicity, single exposure. Okay, so the bug juice is coming in and it's the perfect example of a new label. So let's take a look at it. Looks like the label has the same information as it had before. Pretty much. This here is the signal word. Danger means really high hazard. This here is the hazard statement. It tells you pretty much well, the hazard. This here are the precautionary statements. They give you the preventative measures, like how to protect yourself when storing or handling the product. Are there any differences? A couple. For example, there's no longer risk phrases on the supplier label. Also, there's no longer a reference to the safety data sheet. This one has a skull and crossbones and a flame. That means Gary shouldn't drink it, right? Or use it near a fire. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Actually, if you read the precautionary statement, it does say, do not eat, drink, or smoke when using. If you look at the SDS, it will give you the more detailed information just in case Gary does drink it, or more likely spills it. And how you should store it, which is the information we need when we unpack it. Exactly, it gives you the exposure controls. So it tells you to wash your hands after using the product before eating or drinking. Keep in mind that the sections of the MSDS have changed. The old style has nine sections, and the new one has 16. Information on the ingredients was previously included in section two, entitled Hazardous Ingredients. This is now found in section three of the new SDS, entitled Composition and Information on Ingredients. 
First aid information can now be found in Section 4 of the new SDS, where it was previously found in Section 8 of an MSDS. Section 7 on the MSDS sheet used to include the following topics, PPE, storage and handling, and disposal and spills. These topics now have their own sections or are part of other sections. Spill information is now found under Section 6, Accidental Release Measures. Handling and storage is now found under Section 7 on the new SDS. PPE is now found under Section 8, Exposure Controls and Personal Protection. Disposal is now found under Section 13, Disposal Considerations. New sections include Section 12, Ecological Information. Section 14, Transport Information. Section 15, Regulatory Information. And Section 16 was introduced and contains all information on preparation and revision of the SDS. These changes have made the information easier to find and to understand for all stakeholders. Awesome. So basically what we do doesn't change. We keep up on our training and continue to be aware of hazards. Pretty much. My role and Mr. Jones's role pretty much stay the same too. Yeah, we're committed to provide you guys with ongoing training and, uh, you know, during our toolbox talks, we'll provide you with information as new products come in. Sounds good. I'll go make sure that there's enough room in the back to store the new product. We just have to make sure the labels are on the product correctly and the SDSs are available. Yes. During this three-year transition period, you may find both 1988 and 2015 labels and SDSs, but we will be replacing the old ones with the new as they come in. Are there any questions? Great. Well, thanks so much, guys, for coming in. Have a good day and be safe. Thanks, everybody. More information on WIMIS 2015 can be found online. Visit ACSA's website for more information on these changes and courses.